take a break and enjoy the show. Are you ready? Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of Georgia Gwinnett College, welcome back, and I do mean welcome back from the spring break. Of course, this is the Grizzly Talk Podcast with your host, Kennedy Patterson. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys had a fantastic, awesome, very, very awesome spring break. Uh, We are officially back from spring break of 2020, and I do see a lot of students on campus. They are coming back as I see on their Instagram. Now, we are live from Swanky Studios here in Atlanta doing our Welcome Back special episode. This is a special episode because I have a lot of things to talk about. There's quite a few things that we've got going on uh, for a GTP that you guys may have missed last week. So we're going to talk about it on this special episode live from Swanky Studios. I'm your host, Kennedy Patterson. Welcome back to the podcast. If you're listening to us, of course, you guys can listen to us on Spotify, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Podchaser, SoundCloud, and also on the hit radio station separate from Grizzlies on Air, of course. Uh, it is the GTP 94.6 the radio station, also streaming for Spotify and iTunes. So if you guys haven't heard of us yet on the radio station, go to the radio station right after this show. Uh, you will not be disappointed. You're going to enjoy the radio station. Of course, we have... Of course, GTP, some exclusive videos from all over uh, the campus. We also have clean, and I do mean clean music on the radio station as well. So uh, if you guys want to have a radio vibe to it, I really recommend you guys go listen to it again. That's GTP 94.6, the radio station from Georgia Gwinnett College. Uh, Let me tell you, I'm so happy to be back. Uh, You guys saw it on Instagram, then you heard our new intro music. For GTP, a little something new. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to my media uh, music label, Swanky Records. We were in that studio and we wanted to develop new music for GTP to open up, of course, a new season. Of course, uh, we are technically in our season three. A lot of people don't know about it, but yes, we do have seasons for the podcast shows. Um, so we're technically in season three, and I wanted to develop a new intro for you guys, and I think this one fits very, very well for the podcast show. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy the music. If you guys if you guys want to hear a full version of it, we're going to be uploading it also on our streaming services as well, so you guys can hear the full version of it later on today. So I'm super excited, and let me tell you why I'm super super excited because this is the month of March, and of course we're kicking off Women's History Month. Of course, most people don't know about it, but Women's History Month is a celebration for the month of March to celebrate women in history, whether it's business, whether it's music, whether it's production, whether it's IT, women in general for our history here, uh, here all over GGC campus and the GGC community. So yesterday we kicked off our first ever episode of the Women History. We talked about, uh, we talked uh, and interviewed, well, we didn't interview, but we uh, made a video uh, about Aretha Franklin. So she will be kicking off our Women History um celebration for this month kind of the same thing what we did for our black history month last month this month we're going to be focusing on women in history uh, for women history month and yesterday was actually women international day so it was a great day to kick that off really really well and i'm just so stoked and so happy about that of course i wanted to apologize to the ggc community um simply because i promoted this and I was looking forward to this, but you know, weather in nature sometimes is not always on our side. Things happen when it comes to cancellations. Uh, you guys saw that I was going to do a behind the scenes look on GDM production over at softball. And that was going to be last Wednesday during spring break, but it was actually raining all day that day. So they end up having to cancel that game. Hence that I was not able to film and do a behind the scenes content. So stay tuned for that. We're still going to do that throughout the semester. We just Wednesday was going to be the day we do it. But of course, if we got rained out. I, they can't play if it's raining and storming up there. I really recommend, I really would not recommend playing in, in rainy, rainy weather or filming and recording in rainy weather. It's just going to be a mess. So um, they made a good call to cancel. So uh, that's going to happen, GGC students. Uh, that's going to happen sooner uh, than later for sure. 
we just got to pick another game to really do that so uh, uh sorry about that i know a lot of people were looking forward to that now we have our instagram open of course we have a lot of emails that came in and as i look through my phone i still got more emails coming in there are going to be a lot of events coming up this week because it is the week after spring break. So uh, hopefully all of the students and all every GGC community, hopefully you guys were able to get recharged and get ready to finish off this next half of the semester. Uh, of course, professors released midterm grades. My midterm grades are looking really, really good right now. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so hopefully you guys are ready and recharged and ready to start again for this next half of the semester. So let's get on to the announcements. Of course, Georgia Gwinnett uh, from Olas is going to be having their 12th annual GGC Got Talent. So again, it's the 12th annual. You, something you guys don't want to miss. If you've got talent, of course, this is brought to you by our good friends over at Olas. They're going to be having auditions. Now, I'll give you the times for the auditions. Of course, uh, they're going to have auditions today. By the time you're hearing it, it's going to be getting ready to start 3.30 to 7 p.m. in the Cisco. They're going to be hosting GGC's Got Talent tryouts and auditions. Also, tomorrow, the 10th, it's going to be 2 to 5 in the Res Life 1154. That's in the Res Life building. And they're also going to be holding uh, auditions again on Wednesday, 1 to 6, back into the Cisco. And then on Thursday... 1 to 5 p.m. also in the Cisco. And Friday, the dreaded Friday the 13th, as I laugh about it because I just found out this morning, you know, this Friday is going to be uh, Friday the 13th. So that's kind of scary. Uh, 1 to 6 p.m. in Cisco. Showtime will be March 31st. I'm going to say it again, ladies and gentlemen of George Gwinnett. March 31st is when they're going to have the showtime, of course, 7 to 10, uh, the 12th annual GGC's Got Talent. Take advantage of that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's not every day you see RSOs to bring out talent shows and fashion shows. I've been to both. I've been to a talent show for GGC. I've been definitely been to the fashion shows uh, that Res Life and, of course, uh, student... Uh, student uh, uh fashion student association they hosted so those shows are always fun to be a part of so again i really recommend you guys going out for that of course the of course also we're bringing back another event is the women of color recognition dinner of course that's going to be march 10th they're going to have music food and drinks on the second floor it's going to be 6 p.m to 8 p.m acknowledgement dinner for the honoring honoring harriet tubman if you guys know about harriet tubman she's she, she goes down in history for sure she's very historical she they made a new movie about her most recently so uh brought to you by the bsu at ggc you guys can follow their instagram at bsu.ggc you guys can follow that that's that instagram and also this goes out to the march spotlight of course, hosted by Greenlight. Of course, GGC Greenlight, they're going to be hosting up a um, March Spotlight. Of course, Street Signs and Spotlights, of course, is going to be March 9th, which is today, 12 to 3. So if you missed it, I really recommend you guys don't miss it. Of course, they they like to do their street signs, too. It's really cool that they do their street signs. It's really amazing um, how they do it. I actually have one in my house so it goes down to history that they do something like that and it's coming back the street signs it's just something cool and a lot of res life students they like to get one of those made for their um their their uh sweet rooms it really is amazing for sure of course the women in tech got the adp event lunch mock um the lunch mock interviews and resume review it's gonna be march 10th two to three in a uh, career center uh you know if you guys take advantage of that of course i will say this on many many shows before uh interviews and resume inter reviews are very important a lot of people know that you know I, I go to these events to get my resume looked at and they really look at that kind of stuff they look to see how good your resume uh can form up um speaking of which i actually just came from an interview today for something so it just it, it goes a long way your interview has to go a long way for sure and i really recommend you guys going out to do that um, of course, is the ADP workshop resume review and the mock interview is going to be uh, Tuesday, March 10th. Also on that same day, the Heritage Room, the Coffin Library, they're going to have the International Business Concentration Preview. They had preview events like that before and it became a huge, huge success. Uh, I did see on Instagram they did a financial uh, concentration in finance preview also in that same area the heritage room um so it really is amazing of course they're gonna have tipsy tuesday and not to get confused with that word tipsy but tipsy tuesday of course uh there's gonna be very fun in building f that is the 
gym, the Wellness Recreation Center, 630 to 9. What it is, they're going to have canoes and, you know, you get to practice on how to canoe in water. So they'll have that on the, um, in the swimming pools in the recre uh, Wellness Recreation Center. So I really recommend you guys going out for that. It's a fun event, you know, Tuesday, 630 to 9. If you have nothing to do that Tuesday, I really recommend you guys going out for that. This next announcement I am going to, you know, speak heavily about, and I, I will say this. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Building 3000, Suite 3106, is free flu shots. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we all know what's going around with America with the coronavirus. I This is a public service announcement for here live from Swinky Studios, Grizzly Talk Podcast with your host, Kennedy Patterson. Public service announcement. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to, if you have not gotten your flu shot, go out there and get your flu shot. Uh, we got word today, um, and it may or may or may not be true that coronavirus, well, there is a coronavirus case in Gwinnett County, well, in Georgia. Well, we all know it's in Georgia, but there's one in particular in Gwinnett County. So, again, may or may not be true. I don't know too much about that, but I really recommend that you guys get your flu shots. Uh, make sure you cover up in hand sanitizer. I say this for everybody that's here in Swinky Studios. I say this to everyone that's in my property management group. Wash your hands. Wash your hands at least 20 times a day. And I know that may sound a little excessive, but it really is true. After and before you eat lunch or well, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, wash your hands. After you go to the bathroom, wash your hands. If you shake somebody's hand, it's good if you shake somebody's hand, sanitize it. And if you do it in front of, and, and we do this in, in property management, I, I, I meet a lot of people and I shake their hands and then right after I go, I'm running to the hand sanitizer and they say, hey, I get it. I understand it's what's going on with the world right now. It's better be safe than be sorry. So ladies and gentlemen, I say that my public service announcement, please be sure to wash your hands. Make sure you clean yourself. Make sure you're nice and clean. And when you make contact with another human being, make sure you sanitize yourself because it's real, it's real in Atlanta. It's real in Gwinnett County. It's real in all over Georgia. So I really recommend you guys going out for that. Uh, it is it's very, very important. It really is so important that people wash your hands and you stay sanitized and you try to avoid. Now, for all of you students, now... Uh, professors are emailing everyone about this. Even one of my professors emailed that about this today. If you are sick, you may not have the coronavirus, but if you are so form or sick with a fever or flu, stay home. Write an excuse and stay home. I'm pretty sure professors will waive your excuse. Now, I don't speak for professors. I don't know how every professor works, um, but professors will try to figure out a way to waive your excuse absences if you stay home if you're sick because they know what's going around here they rather you stay home than to not bring it to ggc and you're spreading it all, all all over the ggc community so i just want to say that out there on the podcast today um stay home if you're sick uh if you have a headache uh, like if it's like a minor minor headache then you can try school try going to class but if you have a heavy headache it could lead to a flu or a fever stay home because you don't want that to spread all over the GGC community. That's what I did. I did that about before spring break. One of my classes, I couldn't make it because I thought I had a fever. I was coughing and I had a headache. I, I just said, okay, I'll just stay home. So that way I don't spread it all over the GGC uh, community. So that's just my public service announcement for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, stay home if you're sick. Avoid contact from other students that may appear to be sick. You just avoid all, all of that, okay? So, of course, they're going to have Wobbly Wednesday, Slack Clown, and the GGC Lawn brought to you by the Outdoor Adventures. Uh, of course, they do the Wobbly Wednesdays. It's good to see that that um, event is back. I love it when they do that because it's so cool to see them walk that line, that Slack line. And it's just really, really, really is amazing to see how they form up and they do their thing with the uh, Wobbly Wednesdays. It's exciting when they do that. I, I, I go to campus, right? And I'm all over campus and I see that they're getting ready. They're doing it. And it's so cool. It really is cool to see how they do those kind of events. It really, it, you know, it just warms, it warms my heart a little bit because, you know, you see all of that and it's just so cool to see they walk away. I could never do that. Honestly, I wish I could, but I can never do that. So this next event, of course, uh, Courageous cons uh, Conversation on Gender Roles, Stereotypes, and expecta Expectations. Of course, this is brought to you by, of course, the Diversity 
uh, inclusive ambassadors. Ladies and gentlemen, I really recommend you guys come out to this event this Wednesday, March 11th, in the Housing 1000 Lobby. Of course, this is brought to you by, again, like I said, Diversity and Inclusive Ambassadors and SHARE. If you guys don't know what SHARE is, it's the Student Housing uh, and Res... I, I don't know the acronym, but that's Res Life. They changed their name from Res Life to SHARE. I like their name. Um, they're going to be having Pillow Talk Battle of the Sexes. Now, I've been to these kind of events before, and they're always interesting to see simply because um, they had so many hosts. I've been to the one where my good friend, Benjamin Coker, if you guys don't know who he is, he's a recent, a recent GGC graduate. He graduated from GGC this past fall, I want to say, and he was highlighted on GGC's YouTube with his videos and Instagram, and it was cool, cool to see uh, my good friend Ben graduate. A uh, shout out to Ben Coker for sure. But he um, hosted an event like this before, and I was able to record it and put it out for YouTube. So it really is fun to see those kind of events so this is an event that i really recommend uh students to come out to this because it's important you know i'm not going to sugarcoat things here on the grizzly talk podcast because we're all young adults we all know about sex and gender roles and expectations so it it's a very conversation uh, a grown-up conversation that we can have at ggc and i really recommend you guys going out of course it's going to be march 11 2020 uh, that is also a Wednesday from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in Housing 1000 Lobby. Um, Battle of the Sexes is a good conversation starter uh, to talk about gender roles, stereotypes, and expectations. So those events are always fun to do, uh, to go up there and to really enjoy that for sure. It really is amazing. And of course, Green Light Activities Board presents Game On Laser Tag Night, Thursday, March 12th, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. in Housing Courtyard. Um... Again, that also seems like an awesome event. That's the next day. Another event will be housing uh, that GGC Housing Share Community. They will go in out there and they're doing their thing for sure. So I really recommend you guys going to all these events this week. Stay tuned more for Grizzly Talk Podcast this week because we have so many good things coming up for you guys. And of course, a little sneak peek for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys ever heard of this new RSO, GGC Gear. GGC Gear is a marketing um preparation for marketing for our school of business here at ggc i have quite a friends that are part of ggc gear and i know they had told me right before spring break that they're ready to hop on the podcast so a little sneak peek for you guys we're gonna have of course sydney uh sydney woody and jason brown they're gonna be joining us on the podcast very very soon so shout out to them too they i do have a class with them as well shout out to them too can't wait to have them on the podcast show here for grizzly talk podcast but until then that's gonna wrap it up here on a special episode the welcome back season for grizzly talk podcast please be sure to listen to all of our social media whether it's instagram over 1722 followers strong that's going to be grizzly underscore talk and also on all of our streaming platforms like spotify itunes our heart radio pandora gtp 94.6 the radio station pod chaser and also soundcloud uh hopefully i didn't miss anything also this podcast is brought to you by of course asus boom i'm rocking a pair of asus boom headphones right now as we record and as we're streaming this right now i'm rocking a pair of gray asus boom so where you guys can go and buy your headphones all you have to do is go to our website go to the klpe store it's going to have a link for asus boom use our promo code so that way you can get 60 percent off your next order and of course we will probably do some slack for you for shipping so i really recommend you guys going out and doing your thing for sure until then that's going to do it for the grizzly talk podcast i'm your host kennedy patterson we'll see you guys and hear you guys in the next podcast go grizzlies take a break and enjoy the show are you ready